we actually have a really great guest here with us. Uh, his name is Paniel uh, Reyes uh, Cárdenas, and he is a doctorate uh, professor from the Oblate School of Theology, as well as teaches in, in other parts, uh, other schools as well. And so we're really excited to, to have you here with us, Paniel. Um, how do we prove the existence of something metaphysical? How do we prove the existence of God? How does the medical, metaphysical world uh, affect us and what does it play a part in our lives? So let me offer um, some premises to understand uh, uh, my, my response to your break question. Jose, you, you said something fascinating, like, uh, well, there's a number of things that, that I like to comment about that, but uh, first things first, one thing that is important to clarify is what's metaphysics, because maybe yeah. our audience is listening to this word and, is, and they probably associate it with something spooky <laughs> or something, because yeah. unfortunately, if you go to a, a popular um, a bookstore, or you Google metaphysics, all sort of things are gonna pop oh, up. I've seen and, that. <laughs> <laughs> and so so it's, it's, it's important to clarify where the word comes from and what does it mean. Metaphysics is a discipline within philosophy. Its job, its business is to, to explain the structure of reality. The, the world actually was fruit of an accident, and it has to do with one of the um, scholars who studied, you know, Greek scholars who studied after Aristotle died. They were organizing his different books and everything that he left. Aristotle, at the end of his life, wrote these other books, and they were placed just beyond or above, up, up above the shelf <laughs> where the, the physics were. So they, they, he called it, well, this, this, these other books above the physics ones, metaphysica, <laughs> above the physics. Uh, metaphysics is a, a, a discipline of philosophy that helps us to understand the structure of reality. Mm. And there's many ways many ways of describing the structures of the structure of reality. Aristotle came up, and I'm of course I'm cutting all the he, he did a very sound process of reasoning and, and thinking, well, what's our best way to approach a principle that unifies the entire realm of everything that is real? And he came up uh, with a great idea, I think. He came up with the idea that the unifying concept of all reality was the concept of being. Books of the metaphysics actually are a description of modes of being. Every being has a formal aspect and a material aspect. Every being has a potential aspect and an active aspect. Every being has a substance, but also has accident. He started to think about the, necess the necessity of a being that is not like the other being a being that sustains reality, a, a being that has such a plenitude of being that gives uh, being to other things. And, and he called it theos in Greek, which is God in English. So, and I come back to the question. So if metaphysics is a structure of reality and its, its business is to describe the different modes of being, then, how can we discover um, uh, an entity such as God that is not a physical entity, of course? You know, for example, I have this mug with me and I have this spray for cleaning my glasses. Um, mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, but I don't, but if I want to show you the existence of God, I cannot show to the camera any object of the world that I can describe. And nonetheless, I have no doubt that its reality is, is, is not equal, but more real than these objects mm. of the physical world. Because mm. we know the reality of things not only by our sensitive experience, sense of perception, as we call it. You know, I'm putting myself in the shoes of somebody who's like maybe an atheist, right? And, and who, you know, maybe doesn't have a, uh, an idea of God or, or maybe does, but doesn't believe in any sense of idea of God. And or so, or evidence too, or something, right? Yeah, yeah. What is that? Does that does that say maybe that that they can't really 
put into uh, words what reality is then or or what is how does how does that work like how does one go into proving maybe the that god is the unifying aspect or maybe aristotle already did that <laughs> well, aristotle did a good deal of work but uh, of course it's not all the work <laughs> yes mm. um well it's a great question um yeah i i i i i agree with you you know like um in the history of human thought there's no a unifying kind of opinion uh, there's not a unified opinion as to whether um whether reality has a unifying um principle uh and 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 of course um uh, god's reality god's existence so like how do we know if something is real even if that thing we, is not kind of evident for my sense right yes so so what do you how do you do that so um so one of the things that aristotle for example in the metaphysics says is that the human intelligence and human mind is capable of knowing things by a reason traditional epistemology traditional theory of knowledge tells us that the human mind can know things know the reality of things through experience for example like my sense sense of perception of this mug but i can also know things by the testimony of others for example i can um, you know i didn't know steel today uh, until today but jose kindly to, uh, told me that he had a good friend and, and they both uh, you know managed this lovely podcast and i believed jose that there, there was such a person as steve <laughs> so so your reality was 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 achievable for to, to my mind not because i met you in person or in the flesh as we say uh, but because there's a, te a, a testimony i believe which is Jose's, that you exist <laughs> and so there's, there's two sources of knowledge that we've seen so far our own experience the testimony of others but also there's a third way of access knowledge and this third way is reason like mm. for example by the use of my reason i can get to understand that there's necessity for something to be or to exist as thomas aquinas says we know the things that we don't see the causes that we don't see by the effects that we see using our reason for example if i am going driving on the motorway on the highway and i see some smoke i can um, infer with the use of my reason that there's there's fire somewhere over there you know we can know things exist without necessarily seeing them like we know the wind exists we can see the wind affecting the trees but we we don't really like see necessarily we don't see gravity we know gravity exists we know when we drop something that it falls of course gravity is also a word that we created that describes a phenomenon of something falling every time you drop it so then you get more complicated but but you, but you know like consciousness and quality of for sure like those things yes yeah. absolutely agree with you you know like this is the power of reason you know to to achieve metaphysical knowledge yeah. of stuff that is real but not always accessible through the immediate experience, direct experience 